Character effects are one of the most common effects in games and today we are going to see how to create a man on fire. He feels nothing, so don't worry, it's safe. I previously did a tutorial on how to create character effects, but today we are going to use a much more efficient method, which is with the Skinned Mesh Renderer Position Block in VFX Graph. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this, and if you want to get access to this project, it's all available on my Patreon page, as well as many others. And before we proceed, I am using Unity 2021.3, by the way, and let's make sure that in the package manager we have installed visual effect graph and in edit in preference in visual effect we have turned on experimental operators slash blocks so we can have access to all of the features of visual effect graph and now we are ready to begin we'll right click in the folder let's start by creating a visual effect graph we can rename it to vfx graph underscore character effect and drag and drop it to the scene I'm going to disable this one and let's press edit to open VFX graph and I'm going to duck this more or less around here, make some room as well. And for the bounds, let's say it's manual, you can adjust it manually or record some bounds. And in my previous tutorial, I used the mesh position block and then a script to bake the mesh every time it moved. Fortunately, now we have the skinned mesh position block we just need to feed the skinned mesh, so that's something that we can do in the inspector. So let's add a property, a skinned mesh renderer property, and then we need to tell it the position of the skinned mesh. So let's use a set position where we are going to connect a transform position block. And the transform is a property that we need to assign in the inspector, so let's create it in the blackboard. And for this position input, we can use an attribute, the position attribute of each particle. And that's basically it, we are ready now to spawn particles in a skinned mesh. For example, in this Paladin character from Maxim, it comes with four skinned mesh renders for the body, the helmet, the shield and sword. And in this case, I'm going to assign the body drag and drop it and for the transform we don't need to assign the position and angles and scale manually we can use a vfx property binder script the property we want to bind is a transform and it's called transform it's this one it must have the same name by the way and then we are going to drag and drop the bones the heaps the root of the bones and the particles are huge, but if you look closely, they are already spawning according to the skin and mesh render, according to the paladin position. In this case, in each vertice. Awesome. From here, now we can create a bunch of effects. So let's start by increasing the capacity to 100,000 and the rate to 1,000. Yeah, a lot of particles. For the velocity, we can actually say the X and Z is 0, but the Y, it's between 0 0.1 and 0 0.4, so it goes slowly up. And for example, the lifetime could be something short, like 0 0.15 and 0 0.6. For the aspect down here, we can control the size with a set size. We can actually say it's random between 0 0.015 and 0 0.03. Nothing changes because the set size of our life is overwriting any previous value related to the size, so let's say that the set size of our life, the composition is multiply. From here we can select this curve, which goes from big to small, it will shrink the particles towards the end of the lifetime, and as you can see we already have some tiny particles spawning in the vertex of this character, which is awesome. We can switch the texture, for example, with the default particle that comes with Unity, Let's add some color to this. We can use a set color. 
but we need to say that the set color of a life, the composition, is multiply as well as the alpha composition. The color is something useful to control in the inspector, so let's create a color property for the particles color, connect it to the set color, and then we can select an orange, for example, and increase the intensity, and we get these really nice bright particles. And they are bright because I have a global volume with a bloom, by the way. You can create a global volume with right click. In case you are wondering. And the awesome thing with this technique is that we can spawn anything we want. For example, attached to this lesson, there's a link to a smoke texture. Let's add smoke to this paladin. Let's give it the sensation that it is burning, that it is on fire because of a spell or something like that. So once you got this texture, you can go ahead and copy and paste, select everything, Control C, Control V. Let's assign the realistic smoke you have just unloaded. And since it is a flipbook in the UV mode, we can use a flipbook blend. The blend part will basically blend between each frame and it will look smoother. And then for the size of the flipbook, it's 6 by 6, 6 in the X and 6 in the Y. And to animate this, we need the set index over life block. We can click on this curve right here and with right click on the last key, we can say that it is 35. 6 by 6 is 36 frames, but it starts at 0, so we don't want to use the particles color and we want to increase the size of the set size to something like 0 0.5 and 1. The lifetime is way too short, so up here let's say it is between 1 and 3, for example, and decrease the rate to 16. That's enough in this case. You can turn on Use Soft Particle and decrease the soft particle fade distance to around 0 0.5, 0 0.3, so it fades every time it touches geometry. And for the fire part, it's actually very simple with all that we already have. We can copy and paste this smoke particle system. And let's say that the set size is between 0 0.3 and 1, or 0 0.6. And the color is a orange, a bright orange. As you can see, it looks like it's on fire. Actually, we don't need this to go up too much. 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 for the set velocity, for the Y, that's enough. And the lifetime could be shorter, something like 0 0.3 and 0 0.6, for example. And now the curve down here of the size of our life should be the opposite. It goes from big to small. And then, just going to adjust lifetime to 0 0.4 and 1. And then we can increase the rate to 32 or even more. And here we go. It looks like it's on fire. There's actually a very cool thing for the position skin and mesh block where we can say that the particles are going to spawn in vertex or in the surface or on the edge of the character in this case, for example. Super useful stuff and not that hard, as you can see, we already have this paladin on fire. And from here you can do a bunch of different effects. And if you want to learn more about the previous method that I used, there's a link below or on the top corner somewhere. So that's basically it guys, this project is available on my Patreon page in case you want to have access to it, to study up close or to even use in your games and there's plenty more of effects and projects and assets available for you there links in the description i want to say a big thank you to each patron that supported me last month and a quick shout out goes to the top tier patrons which are 3d sorcery adrian biedriski elshadr carvalho austin schneider aviat tobali paul nyan Braden olive ruby dubidu diego marques donald thompson duitran edward chai frank striker gills walter goblin plague Guilherme Trindad, Jorgen Lin, Jeffrey Wood, John Nix, JP, KC Miller, Canon Anselm, Little Tsai, Maxim, Mark Anum, Mateus Bragança, Mograf Tech, Nat Sims, Neil Cullen, Oitsk, Quentin Adstad, Radioactive Bullfrog, Ramiza Altaba, Revnet Games, Toasted Butter, Tuan Tran, Verisuta, Waterbridge, Will Husse, Will Poilion, and Ingu Taz. 
Thank you all for your support, you guys are amazing, you guys rock. To everyone who watched this, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.